Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we've got some exciting news today. Fedora Linux 43 beta has officially been released and it's packing in some pretty big updates. Now the final release of Fedora 43 is expected around late October or maybe early November 2025. But this beta gives us a really good look at uh, what's coming. So what's new? Well, first off, it's powered by the upcoming Linux 6.17 kernel that's going to bring in all the latest hardware support and performance improvements. On top of that, Fedora Workstation is shipping with the brand new GNOME 49 desktop environment. And if you're more of a KDE fan, you're getting KDE Plasma 6.4 in the Fedora KDE edition. Some other highlights include the Anaconda Web UI Installer, now available by default for more Fedora spins, which should make installations a bit smoother. For Gnome users, Fedora is moving to a Wayland-only session, so X11 is basically being pushed aside here. They've also added support for the CoLRV1 format in the Notocolor emoji fonts, and uh, interestingly, support for the hair programming language too. Another big change is that Fedora 43 uses DNF5 by default in the Anaconda installer for RPM package installation, plus automated onboarding to packet release automation for new packages, automatic updates by default in Fedora Kinwhite, and ZSTD compressed in ETRD as the default. Under the hood, the toolchain has been updated across the board. You've got GCC 15.2, 2GNU Binutils 2.45, Clip 2.42, GDB 17.1, LLVM 21, Python 3.14, PostgreSQL 18, Ruby on Rails 8.0, MySQL 8.4, Tomcat 10.1, and honestly, a lot more. So yeah, lots of new goodies to test out. If you want to try it, the beta is available right now as ISO images or even torrents. But remember, this is still a pre-release, so don't go installing it on your main production machine. All right, that's it for today's quick update on Fedora 43 beta. What do you guys think of these changes? Are you excited for Genome 49 or maybe KDE Plasma 6.4? Let me know down in the comments. And um, uh, if you found this useful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more Linux and open source updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.